did you have a pretty insane work ethic? And Without a doubt. What did that look like for you? I had that why I just wanted to be at the top, you know? And I remember uh, at my house in Mesa when I was high school, it's just down the street from here, uh, I would just scrounge around the backyard and look for a PVC pipe, like irrigation pipe, and get a bed sheet. Mm -hmm. And I'd eat supper real quick inside, and I'd be outside and just be hitting the ball into that bed sheet. Mm -hmm. Just be hitting it off the tee, just hit it. Hit yeah, it. Yeah, my yeah. dad would peek out the door and be like laughing at me, oh, whatever, dude. They're like, well, you ain't buying me a net or something like that. So yeah, you know, it's like I Rocky. Mean, yeah, when he's, when yeah, he, the guy's got the high I should have had the chickens, man. I yeah, didn't yeah, have the chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had the chickens, you would have been good. But isn't that funny? Because there's so many ways to make excuses um, for like, oh, I don't have the right equipment. I don't have the nice fancy shoes. Like, that's another funny thing. And uh, my buddy Rob will laugh at this because he always has the coolest, nicest shoes. Mm -hmm. And I should have probably been more into that as a basketball player. But I lose like I always one we didn't really have a lot of money, but two, um, like I just like functionality. Like I had the same shoes and I'd wear them and they feel good on my feet. Yep. And uh, and I, it was all about like oh I'm just gonna go out and, and dribble and play. And I don't care if you got fancier or expensive shoes. Like I'm gonna beat you because I spent more hours in the gym. That's it. And that was you. It, That's you it. Know, you didn't need the net. You didn't need. Now they have the. I think what's it called? Swing away where you hit it. and It goes I around. I think they have stuff on the. Yeah. Know, they'll swing it for you now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't even have to do it. <laughs> It's a different time, man. It's insane now. It's how a it different is, time. Yeah, that's how it was. And I mean, I would always be outside. I'd always be outside playing. I'd always be outside. You know, that's what I try to preach to the kids and, and everybody I speak to is like, yeah. every successful person, there's only one thing in common. Or two, actually. Yeah, yeah. They believe in themselves. Yeah. Right? They're and on they their own team. You got to work hard. Yeah. You got to work hard. And, that, and that's what's hard nowadays with the kids with sports and stuff like that because the technology and the coaching and all this other stuff. The money and everything that's going on with the, the sports industry yeah. uh, is taking the love out of the game for the kids. Yeah. I remember sitting in the dentist chair after school one day and I knew I had practice that night at 4, 4 30 and I, had, I was in a dentist chair at 3 and I look out in Southern California where it never rains and it starts raining. Yeah. And I was like, no way. Like I'm tearing up and the dentist thought yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. hurting my teeth. I was like, no, yeah. dude, we ain't practicing today. I might not get to practice. <laughs> yeah, I so truly love the game. Practice was canceled, dude, so I just go on the side of the house and in the rain just throw the ball against the ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just always active, always active. Uh, ADHD, OCD, whatever that is yeah, yeah, yeah. that they're trying to I take away. Yeah. You have to have it. Yeah. Every successful person has yeah, it. And they're yeah. trying you to take it away still. in schools. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just it's just it has to become an obsession to get to the top. Yeah.